Hello everyone, welcome to Food and Travel Enthusiast. Today I'm showing you how to make cornmeal, Jamaican cornmeal dumplings with some okra and saltfish. I hope you um, are all well and I know you ha could have chosen any place else to go watch a video but you chose to watch mine so i'm very much appreciative of that be sure to subscribe like share with your friends and family and be sure to follow for more interesting videos so right here you can see i have maybe half a cup of cornmeal and a cup of flour and a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of salt and we combined all that ingredients together and then we made a hole and we're going to make, use a quarter cup of water or a little bit more than that to combine the, the, the mixture into a dough so as you can see we're moving around the flour in the water mixture once that is absorbed then we continue to add the water to to get that dough forming and you just mix and in in the end you'll see us kneading the flour with the cornmeal together to make that dough and there you can see we continue to to mix the dough together to get it to form so that we can um make the dumplings it's almost like making a, a butter like for the crust of an apple pie or something like that um it's it's almost that same motion and once we do that we in the meantime we're doing that we would uh put a two cups of water to boil with a teaspoon of salt and once that comes to a boil and you make your dough then you'll see uh, the formation of the dumplings you can roll it and then press in the middle if you so choose you can just roll it and make it into a ball but for presentation purposes usually we just knead the dough together and then we section it in, in portions. This, this recipe makes about four to five, depending on the size. And here you see we're completing. If you want to get those little flour out, you just tip your finger in the water and just barely touch those spots just to get those little white flour out. And as you can see, we just take a small portion and then we roll and then we make it, make it into like a, a platter of some sort, if that's a good description. And once we finish to make those, then we'll put it in the water and you boil for 15 to 20 minutes. And that should cook the cornmeal and the flour. And the consistency is, it's like a, it's binding. So it's gonna be heavy um, if you want to be full after, um, making the dumplings you you can add other ground provisions and so now we're moving on to making the okra and saltfish and you can see all my ingredients there the saltfish i soak overnight in water to cut down on the saltiness and then I, you can boil it in the pot that you have the dumplings in and then remove it or you can boil it separately to get rid of all the the salt or as much salt so it doesn't overpower uh, the, 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 the okra and so there I poured about a tablespoon of oil in my skillet and then I let it heat up and then now I add my onion my bell pepper my scallion a little thyme and I use different um, sweet peppers uh, as you can see and then I'm going to cover it and let it soak a little bit. Since we're using salt fish, I didn't add any salt, but you can add a little bit too because I'm trying to lower my salt intake. And remember to subscribe, 
if you like this video and you want to see more because we do food and we travel as well and so there i'm going to add my salt fish to the mixture and just combine the whole in um the whole part uh, of um product so that it is homogeneous in some sense or form and then i'm adding black pepper you can add some old bay a little creole seasoning too you can add if you'd like and i'm adding some fish and meat sauce or you can add some ketchup if you'd like a little a1 sauce any of those um will work well with this just to give it a little color and some flavor and and also the ketchup could also be used instead and then we're gonna add some water since we're using frozen okras in this recipe you can use the fresh one which you would have to boil with salt water and maybe um a little thyme for flavor until it's cooked but here we're using the frozen one and we put that maybe a, a quarter cup of water and um we cover it and let it steam and then there you see i'm combining you can see that the okra has melted from when we just put it in that this takes about 10 minutes to get it to that and then um, once it's all uh, melted and and you can see the formation of the gravy and there you have it i touch it and it's well cooked and you can see the the the, the, the liquid how it has the consistency of the okra and there you have it enjoy